Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we are finally going to be putting the finishing touches on my craft room and studio space. If you guys missed part one, I will link that down below. We did so much to this room. We completely changed the color of it and the whole feel to make it feel more neutral and my style. We also did a really fun DIY stamp and made this really pretty floral wallpaper that really just acts as a wonderful focal point and also adds some pattern into this space. We stained my shelves so that they had a nice, rich, warm tone to them and they look a lot more finished. And we did move in a couple pieces of furniture just to get a feel on how this room is going to function And overall, I am really loving the way that it's turning out But today we're going to finish up everything. We're going to clean a little bit We are going to organize and also put some finishing touches on some decorating I have some big prints I want to hang on this wall behind me I have some other frames that I need to fix over on a different wall and just add in some really fun styling pieces that are going to make this space functional and also beautiful at the same time. Also make sure that you're subscribed down below. I make new videos all the time on home decor, decorating, and DIY, and I'd love to have you. I have so many makeover videos that are on the horizon and also a bunch that I've already done. But yeah, I believe that is everything. I think we're gonna go ahead and get started, start getting some things together, and work on getting this room completely finished. <music> I did want to take advantage of the room being pretty much completely clear and wiping down the furniture as well as the shelves behind me. We are in the basement so this room doesn't get as much cleaning as the rest of the rooms in our house so I really wanted to do this. That way we have a nice clean slate. Also it's just been a while since I've cleaned down here so that's what we're going to do first. storage solution for this whole room. We do have a few drawers and things that I want to organize with you guys today as well, but this is where I keep most of it. And if you've seen my other craft room makeover videos or just cleaning videos in general, you may notice that this really isn't going to change a lot, but there are a few different things that I want to incorporate to make it feel a lot more styled and more homey at the same time. So I have all of my things here that are going to go on the top shelf, and I think we're just going to start there and then work our way down. So because this is the top shelf, it's not as constricted as the rest of the shelves in terms of height. So I like to put all of my extra canvases as well as frames at the very top. That way if I'm trying to start a new project, I have a bunch of blank slates at the very top. And again, it's just a lot taller than at the other shelves, so it just makes sense these up here and then next to them I just have these wood chips I use these to make like a faux tree as well as some Christmas trees for the Christmas time and I don't get rid of them so I'll 
I'll just tuck them up here. And lastly for this shelf, I have just some practical storage. I have some labeled boxes and bins. This one is all my sewing things, as well as my hot glue gun in this one. If you're a crafter and you're trying to figure out how to organize all of your little pieces, I feel like I just get so many random different things. I like to categorize them and put them into boxes like this. So this is just a shoe box that I wrapped with like a black vinyl on the side. You can see that I did it, but I just did it on the front. That way you can't see it. And then there are so many inexpensive bins like this as well. So all of my sewing needles and my thread and my tape measures are all in here. That way if I'm doing a sewing project or a project with my hot glue gun, I can just grab it and I know that I have everything that I need. Coming down the shelf, I have some more practical storage. This one has my towels and t-shirts and things for painting if I don't want to get my nice clothes dirty or ruin them in general. So again, with putting all the like items inside of a big bin, I just got these from Goodwill. And I like to put them on this shelf specifically because you can't see inside of them. Most of the time they're in pretty good shape and they're pretty organized. Because craft rooms tend to be a lot more busy, you know there's lots of colors and lots of just things all over the place. I like to hide it as much as possible into big bins like this and especially because I have a lot of these three categories I feel like this is perfect so in that bin I have all the towels and this one I have all of my acrylic paints and palettes as well as paint brushes that I like to use for all different kinds of projects and then this last one is just yarn and knitting things so I have yarn and a bunch of knitting needles So this next shelf is actually the shelf that I utilize the most because it's right below eye level and everything is very easy to access which is why I organize a bunch of my markers and my colored pencils and things on this shelf that way they're just really easily accessible first things first I do have this big rotary mat because it's so large and it's something that I don't use on an everyday basis I like to actually tuck it behind the shelves there's about an inch of clearance behind here and usually I'll just put it back there and it'll go all the way to the floor. But since we have a bunch of organization here, you usually don't even notice it and it's perfect. So I'm just gonna slide this behind the shelf and then we'll start putting everything else on. Now that that is in place, we're going to put the rest of our items. So I'll usually keep a roll of paper towel on hand because you never know when you're going to make a mess. And then I also like to keep my sewing machine out. That way, again, it's just super easily accessible. I don't sew a lot, but having it on the shelf is super, super handy. Next to our sewing machine is where I'm gonna put all of my markers and things. So I have this little riser. This is just a couple long boxes that I put together and wrapped in burlap, so that way it's sort of blended in with everything. So I'm gonna put that there. And then I just have some various jars and things. This one just is a clear jar that holds all of my markers. And this one is colored pencils. It has a little label on there that I made with my Cricut. And I'll just arrange all of these on the riser. cans and our jars of things. I do have a little bit of space over on this side of the shelf that I want to corral a few more of those items. And this is also where I wanted to put in a little bit of styling. So I found this basket. I got this I think from a garage sale or thrifted it somewhere a while ago and it fits perfectly in this little spot. And I love how it sort of blends in with the wood so it's not super busy. It doesn't draw your eye. However, it does add a little bit of texture because it looks different. And then at first I'm gonna put this big bottle. This is something that I thrifted in I think 2020 and it has this really fun cork lid and it's perfect for pipe cleaners. I don't use these very often, but it has its own little place. And then I also have a jar of scissors and rulers as well as my rotary cutters for cutting fabric. And that's just gonna go in there. I try to put the taller items towards the back, that way you can see them and you know exactly what you have. And then I have this little jar of wood beads 
then I'm just gonna sit in there as well. A little canister for puff balls. Again, not something I use very often, but I like to keep them on hand because they do come in handy. And actually, I'm gonna put this more towards the back because I think I just like the look of the wood beads a little bit better. And lastly is one of my favorite things that I have ever thrifted. It's this cute little canister. It has a little wooden lid on top that sort of matches the stain on our shelves. And it is the perfect size for crayons. So I have a bunch in here and I just love how dynamic this is. There's five different items and they're all at different heights and have different things in them. I feel like it really just finishes off this shelf really well and just makes it look very intentional and also styled. Moving down, we just have two more spaces and we're going to start over on this side to cover up our blue mat. So I know I have a bunch of new viewers, but if you have been with me for a while, you probably recognize this big thing. So this is a vinyl storage cabinet. You can't buy it anywhere, I don't think, because when I was looking for one, I couldn't find it. So I ended up making this one. And basically, I just have a bunch of little compartments and it has all my different rolls of vinyl in there. And then I put magnets on here, that way, it stays closed so I really like this it really adds to the simplicity and it also carries this jute sort of burlapy material all the way around the room and really gives it some warmth and I also made it so that it perfectly fits in this space so it really just again covers up that blue mat quite a bit and all my rolls of vinyl are hidden so hidden storage is definitely something that i really like to incorporate if i can next to it is where i keep my paper cutter i use this all the time so i love to have it handy and it just sits there nothing's on top of it is really easy just to grab and use over here i have a couple of storage bins these were actually in my college room when i wasn't living here last year and these were super inexpensive i literally had some kohl's cash that i used to buy these and they still have the tags on them i, I don't really know why but this is where we're gonna put them. They're just this really nice, creamy, almost sort of oatmeal color. I love how neutral it is, but also adds a little bit of brightness and also just a tiny bit of contrast with the wall color behind it. So I'm gonna put these two next to each other. Those are just so cute. I absolutely love those. And in here, I thought it'd be perfect to sort of corral a bunch of my um, spray paints and also just my clear coats. And then in the other one, I'll be putting a bunch of my bigger containers of paint. I have just a few of them and it's honestly the perfect size just to put these all together and again I'm able to see everything that I have all the different colors and the different clear coats that I have and I can fill in if there's any gaps Lastly, I do store a few things right on the very bottom. Even though it's technically not a shelf, I just like to keep some of my bigger things that I don't use very often down there. So first I have this box. I covered it in the same burlap material that's on our cabinet here. That way it blends in and also covers up what the box actually looks like. So in here I just have a bunch of random things. I have an extension cord. I have the pedal for my sewing machine. I have a Mod Podge, a squeezy bottle, this bucket here and an extra paint towel. And that's just gonna sit right under here. Next to it, I just have this empty cottage cheese container. And I just use this for all kinds of things, whether it be paint or I'm mixing something. It's just really nice to have that on hand. And then I also have some spackling, which I'll use for a bunch of projects. I just put that inside of there. Not much to it. And then next to it, I have my old drafting bag. I still have a couple 
things in here that I like to hold on to and then I just lean this up against the wall and then over in this back corner here I like to keep the bigger items I have some polyfill again just for random projects that I need it for this aluminum pan I reuse this for things back when tie-dye was a really big trend I used this for that and if you guys watch my channel you know that I make a lot of my own pillowcases and things for our living room upstairs and this is where all of the extra fabric goes. I also have a little box down there for making t-shirts. It's nice to just have a nice flat space whenever you're ironing. It just comes in handy and this is just another big clear container labeled fabric. So these go right in the corner. That way you don't necessarily see them. And the very very last little portion of this wall that I like to use is actually this little corner. I'll use it for my big yard stick. Then I have just like some bigger things of paper that just don't fit anywhere else also just some scraps and these will just lean up against the wall but that is basically it for this wall we're gonna come back to this and we're gonna hang a couple things right here behind the door but now that we have the majority of our organization done I want to go to this wall and add a little something fun. So I am super excited about this wall behind me. I have some paintings that I did, which is why I'm super excited to be partnering with American Flat for this part of today's video. They were kind enough to send me a couple of their poster frames and I am so excited to use them today and put them on our wall. If you've never heard about American Flat, their mission is to provide stylish, affordable, and exclusively curated wall art and home decor. And it's all designed by some of the most impressive contemporary artists of today's time. Their website is super easy to navigate. I went on there and I took a look at some of their other products as well. And I was eyeing a bunch of their fun vintage wall art. I thought those were really pretty. But today I wanted to do something with American Flat that was going to give my room something very unique. Something that was going to bring in a lot of color and just something that's going to bring the whole room together. So I ended up going with the 18 by 20 24 poster frames. I got two of them and on the box it actually says that they are plexiglass which is perfect. It'll be very durable but it'll also give that very high-end feel. Something I also appreciated about American Flat is that their prices are fair and they just had a good amount of variety as well. So I'm just super excited to see how these are going to look with our prints inside of them and I'm just excited to see what the quality is going to be like. All right they're out of their box now. They look so good. They're packaged really well. I love how the corners are protected and everything. I love how high quality these are. I feel like I'll get frames all the time that have those very cheap little pieces of metal that you bend back. And these are really nice because they swivel around. And another thing about the hardware on the back that I noticed is that there's two different ways you can hang it. So if you want to hang it horizontal, there's two pieces of hardware for that as well as a hardware piece for if you want to hang it vertically, which is perfect. So like I said, I got two of these. I feel like they're going to fit this wall really, really nicely. And I love the black, how it contrasts up against our patterned wall here. And another thing, I don't know if you can tell, these are super lightweight as well, but they also feel very compact. So they're really, really well made. And before we can hang these up, we need some art prints. I created these really pretty landscape paintings. I wanted to keep it very simple, but also add in some warmth to bring in the green and the warm tones all around the room. So I made a set of two. It's basically a really big picture that I cut in half. So one is supposed to go on the left while the other one goes on the right.
Putting these frames up was actually super easy. I just used some simple nails and hung them up. I put them about three inches apart from each other and I feel like it looks perfect. Not only do I love the prints, they obviously add in a lot of depth and really bring the room together, but I love how sleek these frames are. They are super easy to use, very user friendly if you have never hung up frames and super high quality. Again, I love that they're made of plexiglass so they're not going to be super breakable. It's not a really big piece of glass, especially given that these are poster frames. I absolutely love these. I would definitely recommend if you want to shop American Flat, I will leave their link to their website in my description box down below. So if you want to check out their frames and their artwork and anything else that they have on their site, definitely make sure that you check out that link down below. So again, thank you so much to American Flat for sending me these wonderful frames and I thank you for partnering with me for today's video. Now we have a few more things to do in this room to bring it all together. Next up on our list, now that this wall is looking really good, you may have noticed that this wall isn't looking so great. So I have these frames. I had these in my room above my bed when I was in my college house and it worked out well because when I redid this room a lot of that decor got utilized in this new makeover which is perfect. But the string that I had wasn't exactly ideal. It doesn't bend very well. It's really thick. So I ended up getting this jute string and this is really easy because I already have them on the wall. I just put them in the wall with nails the same way that I put these frames in the wall. We're just going to use this string to replace it. I like the way that it draws your eye up, adds a little bit of warmth and also just a little bit of texture. So there's another nail all the way up at the top of the ceiling. That way it sort of looks like it's hanging from it. So this will be super easy and just add a little extra touch. just like doing it on top. It's a lot less finicky. Now I want to turn my attention to this table that is behind my desk. So this is going to act as some storage, which I did organize off camera. I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour of how I did that. But on top of here, I wanted to add a functional piece as well as a little bit of decor. So first things first, as you can see, I added this lamp. I feel like it just adds in a little bit of texture. It also brings in that warmth and coziness that I really want this to be. This is a space that I spend a lot of time in and it's easy for this to just sort of feel like an arts and crafts room. I really want it to feel very homey and lamps can definitely do that and they're super inexpensive as well. Next to it, I just wanted to add this little jug. This is actually glass. You can't even tell because I did this sort of baking soda trick on this. It actually used to be pink and it was in my old room at college, but I wanted to paint it this dark rich brown to sort of coordinate with our paintings as well as the amber glass and very dark tones that we have over on our shelves. So I'm just going to style this right next to our lamp and to keep this very simple, I'm just going to do these two on this side and then over on this side, I have a paper organizer. You may remember the sort of storage that I had on the wall here. We filled in those holes and everything. You can even tell that it used to be here but since we have this cabinet in its place I lost my storage for all of my cardstock construction paper things like that so I ended up getting this organizer off of Amazon I was looking for something that was black and something that was just going to sort of ground this space it's very light and bright over here which is why I'm adding the dark brown as well as this that way it sort of just coordinates with the rest of the room. So we're going to use this and then I'm just going to organize all of my paper inside. I'm going to try to color coordinate as best as I can. That way it's just sort of a nice gradient and it's just going to look really nice. Use a little bit of vertical space and really tie this whole entire area together.
And as for the rest of this area, you may have noticed this stool. This is another stool that I made. I can have that video linked down below. And then I just added a little plant on top. As you can see, the lamp is plugged in. So this stool just sort of covers that up nicely. It makes it a lot less noticeable. And my Cricut is at the bottom. I actually made this so that it would fit my Cricut perfectly. And then we actually have the cords to the Cricut inside of the drawer. So in this drawer, we have just a few things. I have my scrap pieces of paper here. So if I make a project or anything like that and I have a couple of pieces left over, I will save them here. Usually they're pretty big scraps, so I know that I can definitely use them again. Over here, I just have some Prisma colored pencils. I ended up getting that from one of my classes when I was doing art and interior design. Then I have liquid glue as well as a glue stick. Over here, I just have some pencils and things. Here I have all of the cords for my Cricut, which is a good place for it since that's right underneath here. And then over in this compartment, I have all of my rendering markers. These are a bit on the expensive side, but again, I did get these for school. So I have a couple different packs of those. And that's all for this drawer. It's a very big drawer, but I only needed to store a few things in here. So works really nice. And to round out the organization tour, I did do a little bit of organizing in my desk. Now this is super nice because if you were here for part one, I did used to have just an old small dining table here. So obviously that had no storage in it. And this is perfect because I can store all of those small things that just come in handy if I'm making something here or whatever. So I just have everything that I need right where I need it. So in this left drawer, I have a few drafting supplies. This is left over from my college classes as well. So I have like a circle template. This is a furniture template. I don't know if I'll actually use this, but you know, it may come in handy if I want to draw floor plans. And then I have a mini triangle here as well as my really big right angle and then I have a pencil sharpener as well as a pencil. Pencils come in handy whenever I'm measuring anything and I just need to make a really quick mark so I just wanted to have a pencil ready to go. Over in this right hand drawer are some pads of paper. I have marker paper, I have a sketchbook, and then just some watercolor paper. So watercolor paper is actually the type of paper that I used for these art prints. So this is always easily accessible. And then you may have noticed this small compartment in the middle of the desk. This is really nice because again, I obviously didn't have anything like this in my little dining table, but I keep a ruler here for measuring. I have a clipboard and then just a blank notebook that I can use to sketch out ideas if I need to work out measurements or anything like that. This is just sort of a nice workbook. We do have one more thing I want to tackle in today's video, which is hanging up a couple art pieces right here. I feel like it's just gonna bring everything together and just add a little bit of interest and texture to this wall without being too much. All right, you guys, that is going to be the end of today's makeover video, the final part of my studio and craft room makeover, as well as the organization, everything in between. It looks amazing. I am so happy to finally have this whole entire room put together. I feel like I've had plans for it, and I feel like it just came out so much better than I anticipated. And above all, I just hope that this was nice and cozy. You got to just come along with me as we did just a very casual, decorate, clean, and organize sort of video. So I really 
really hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you haven't seen part one and you want to see how we did this wall behind me, make sure you check out that first video. And again, thank you so much to American Flat for partnering with me for today's video. If you guys want to check out their site as well as their frames and all of the products that they have, I will have that link in my description box down below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today on my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye you guys.